Hey, welcome back. In the previous video, we learned how to display the different components of a single blog post, such as the title, featured image, the content, the tags, etc. In this part of the series, we are going to discover how to display the list of published articles and how to filter the list based on the posts, categories, and tags. Same as we did in the previous video, we need to start with the loop in order to get the posts that are stored in the database. Now, since we are showing the full list of the articles, we need to wrap the loops code in a list tag. Thus, every item of the list will represent an article. That done, almost everything we are going to type is pretty similar to what we did in the previous video. So, if we want to display the titles of the articles, we just simply call the title hook. To get the link of each article, we can use the permalink hook. We can merge both of the hooks in one anchor tag to make each title clickable, therefore leading to the article associated to it. Same thing as we did previously for the tags and categories. As you can see, the category hook returns the categories within a list tag. However, we can get them in a different form with a custom separator. To do so, we need to use the get the category list hook and then pass in a string as parameter which represents the separator. Finally, we can print the excerpt, which is basically a description of the blog post.
Keep in mind that in case the excerpt is not provided, the hook will display the first 55 words of the article, but still we have control of how many words can be shown. So, let's say we want to display only the first 20 words. To do so, we need to rewrite a hook within the function.php file. This hook is called wpdocs custom exert length, which returns the wanted number of words. In addition to that, we can set a read more button at the end of the description instead of the braces. In this case, we also need to rewrite a hook which is called wpdocs exert more that returns the symbol or code that we want to display at the end of the description. Right now, when I click on a category, a new page with the articles that belong to the category shows up. However, let's say we want to show the category name as a title for the page. In other words, we want a different structure for this page. To do that, we need to create a special page for this case. It's called archive.php. So, we'll copy all the index pages code because they are pretty similar and we'll change only the title. Now, within the h1 tag, we need to set an if condition to verify if the user has clicked on a category because the same thing is applicable on tags, for example. Then we have to call the single cat title hook, which returns the name of the category that the user chose. Now, as I said, we can do the same thing to get the list of the articles that belong to the chosen tag. In this case, we need to verify if it's a tag that got clicked on, and then use the single tag title to return the tag name to the H1.
Now the index page shows the list of articles as a title, but if I click on a category, the title gets changed to the category name and same for the tags. And this should be it for this tutorial. The rest of the video is just dedicated to adding some CSS to the pages. So make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one.